What's up guys, this is Quante, and welcome back to more Let's Play Sonic 3 and Knuckles. In the last episode, we did the Flying Battery Zone, and it was a success! And in this episode, we're gonna be doing Sandopolis Zone. And Sandopolis Zone is actually not really a bad zone at all, actually. Until we get to Act 2, because Act 2 has a really nerve-wracking thing inside of it that I will just save for when we get there, you know, for anyone who hasn't played this game. But I don't know very many people who haven't, but whatever, you know, there are still the select few of people who still haven't played Sonic the Hedgehog games at all, so, let alone played this one, but, you know, that, that's just how things go. Even though you probably think, like, what the heck have you been doing for the past... 20 years if you haven't played this game, even though this game hasn't been out for 20 years, uh, the first one has anyway, but Sonic himself has been around for 20 years, let's just say that, and then <laughs> leave it at that, but whatever, you know, this game, it's it's great, it, it, it is, it is, but for some reason, I just sucked at Sandopolis and, like, the first time I ever played it. Like, I didn't have any trouble with this, but Act 2 was just one of the most nerve-wracking things you do in the game. Like, Act 2 is probably, like, one of the hardest levels in the game, actually, in my personal opinion. Like, I don't I don't know, I just have a lot of trouble with Sandopolis Act 2. I'm talking a lot about Act 2 and Act 1, which is really bad. I, I guess I guess you'll see when I get on the inside of that pyramid. Because you have to fight a boss, typically, before you go in the pyramid, you know, the same format. Fight a mini boss to go to Act 2, you beat the entire stage. <laughs> Even though I think this one will take longer, because Sandopolis, it, it, it's a unique zone, you'll see. Should stop talking about it and actually work my way to try to get there. <laughs> you know, that, that'd be a good idea, Quante. Th thanks for thinking straight. Yeah. Sonic the Rock Climber here. <laughs> well, not the Rock Climber, but he, he's scaling the wall. I forgot what that's actually called. Because people were doing that at my school, actually, you know, just scaling down walls, but I forgot what it was called, dang it. I, I don't know, somebody in the comments may say so, and then I'll feel really stupid, like I always do. Oh god, Caterkiller! Don't- don't kill me, freaking Caterkiller. Uh, oh no. The Caterkiller didn't kill me, but the- the thing, and I deathed him. Uh, you know, Sega could thought they could they thought they could make a good Jake by calling those things caterpillars, but that that's not a good Jake at all. I, I don't like that Jake at all. Even calling the joke a Jake isn't a good joke, but still, it, it's it's a thing. It's a it's an inside thing. Whatever. I should stop using inside things. And down. I'm surprised. I'm really surprised. I actually haven't been dying as much like in the Sonic 3 Let's Play, because I remember having a severe shortage of lives in Sonic 2, because I died so much on Chemical Plant from like the Eggman boss alone, you know, falling through that bridge that collapses. But I've actually had a a good amount of lives for this game, I suppose. Even though I've died a few times, like just then, and I still have three lives, and I I find that to be perfectly acceptable. Even though if the Great Clement was playing, he'd probably have dozens of lives by now. But hey, well, I, I'm just a moderate player of the game. Even though I'm better than you know, s not most people, but I mean, whatever. <laughs> I'm a moderate player of the game, I guess I could say. And oh, I thought I was gonna die. Not really. Here's the the whole pyramid it rises from the sands. I, I like how the sand is actually coming off of it. It's a really cool scene. In the door. But now let's go inside. Oh god, wait, what is that? It's a body. What's that? A head. That thing's ugly. But this boss is actually really easy. While we are hitting this boss, we aren't technically doing any damage to it at all. The whole point of this boss, which is something I failed to realize as a child, is you just basically have to push it into the sand. Sort of like bullies from Mario 64, where you just keep on punching them until they fall in the lava. This is sort of the same concept in a way, but I guess not as annoying. It just takes a little bit longer. You know, especially if Tails is there and then he hits this guy from the back. Oh, that just, uh, that was not the correct word choice. But if that sort of thing does happen, he'll come towards you and hit you and then, that, that's no good. 
It's pretty easy boss fight, it just takes a while. You should be dead within the next hit, and then we can finally actually go inside the pyramid and you can see all the shenanigans that you have to do in there. And I don't see how he explodes, he's a piece of rock, for Pete's sake. Unless he was a robot, but whatever. Who said Eggman couldn't use magic to make a rock come alive or something? You know, the power of science. And in we go. Okay, Sandopolis Act 2. Sandopolis, why did I say it like that? Okay, so Sandopolis is always pretty much going to be dark unless you press these switches to cut the lights on. And while you can still see everything when it's dark, there's a certain catch to, you know, having to do the on and off with the lights and stuff like that that we have yet to see. Actually, we'll probably be seeing it right about now. So these ghosts, yeah, that's that's the whole thing with the light and dark gimmick. The darker it gets in this pyramid, the more violent these ghosts become. And when the ghosts become violent, I think they pretty much instant kill you. Like, when you let it become all the way dark or something. And I used to be really bad at this zone, and I, I don't really know. I just didn't like the whole ghost concept, because I'd always pretty much die just from these ghosts alone. And this is a pretty puzzle-oriented zone. It's almost like Ice Cap, where a lot of the um, things that you have to do involve you having to jump from, like, different places to get to another specific place, even though that doesn't really sound like it makes sense unless you've been on, or played the Ice Cap Zone in general, but, you know, that, that sort of thing. <laughs> but I, I really just did not like Sandopolis Zone as a kid, and I, it's not one of my favorite zones now, but it's tolerable. Not that I'm actually better at, you know, Sonic games in general. Still not good enough to get all the special stages in the game, but good enough to complete all the levels that I couldn't when I was at least, like, six or seven years old when I got the Sonic Mega Collection. And I, I, I had a good time with the game, but I never got as far as this zone when actually playing, because it was just kind of confusing for me, and I was just a stupid kid who couldn't comprehend, you know, this zone, at least. I don't know. I still know quite a few people who have trouble with Sandopolis, so it's very famous for being quite the difficult zone, at least in my opinion. Or whatever. With me and my friends, I guess I should say it's kind of a difficult place. But I could do it now, and oh god, Sonic was going so fast that the screen sort of spazzed out and lagged there for a minute. Oh well. But yeah, I noticed I'm already up to eight minutes, and I'm still probably not even halfway done with the zone. Well, I, I think about halfway, but, you know, it still doesn't seem like I'm getting anywhere, you know? At least I'm in Act 2 at 8 minutes, and still not in Act 1. I guess that's a thing. Okay. Jeez. There's a lot going on in this zone. The whole sand concept, I, I don't really know. There's just a lot going on here. <laughs> Can't really... Couldn't really do this as a kid, I know. I just can't wait to get out of this zone, because it's not my favorite. <laughs> like, pretty much everything in the game except for Sandopolis to me is pretty much perfect. Other than that, you know, whatever. <laughs> and these ghosts are becoming violent, uh, yeah. If, I, if it gets any darker, I'm pretty much gonna die. And I keep saying pretty much again, that's gonna annoy me. But get the speed you Get out of there! Get the frick out of there now, Sonic! And am I gonna get crushed? Oh, please no. And oh yeah, this is the ghost. The ghosts are they're violent, and I I defted. I, I defted. That that's that's no that's no good. No no good at all. Usually, I don't know. I haven't seen that in a while. Like the ghosts actually get to that point, but there aren't really too many light switches for you to hit. So I guess that's sort of why I let them do that way. There, there are not a lot of light switches at all. Not to mention, these things go really slow, so that just makes the process of actually getting to turn on a light even slower. You have to wait for the sand to rise. It's almost like an auto-scroll section, and I know nobody likes auto-scrolling sections. Unless they're like, you know, really involving and really fast, but this is just sort of like, 
you know, be patient and wait for the sand to rise, and then all will be swell. But not really. You know, these ghosts are just pissed off. For no reason. You know, because we're not letting them stay in the dark. They're not in the dark about the whole situation, and they're pissed off about it. You know, that was a bad, bad shape. I uh, shouldn't have said that. Oh well. Let's actually do this right. Okay. Get to speech you. And let's do it, even though this really doesn't have any effect, as of right now. Like, well, I guess the p no, the speed shoe probably doesn't even make the process of pushing those go any faster. Because we're on the rising sand section, and they gave us a speed shoe, which d hardly doesn't make any sense at all. But whatever, I guess Sega can do what they want, it's their design choice, not mine. And my level design choice is probably not as good unless you've watched my Mario Bros. X episodes. Shameless self plug. Go! Aww. No. <laughs> well, at least let me up there before those ghosts turn into freaking demons. From ghost. Uh, there we go. And down we go. Oh, that's that's pretty fast. But we're, we've almost made it to the boss. That, that's that's swell. I think this is will probably be my longest um, Sonic episode yet. Because usually they end at about like 12 minutes or so. Like, I, I don't think I've ever had one go over 12 minutes. But usually most of them sometimes end at 5, some of them end at 10, some of them end at 12. Like, there's no way I can really like control the length of these episodes. It just depends on the actual zone itself and how long it is and my actual performance while playing. <laughs> and as of this episode, that hasn't really been the best sort of gameplay. You know, I've died twice. You know, that's really embarrassing, but, I, I, you know, what am I going to do about it? Re-record the entire episode because I died twice, just so no one will know I died? You know, that, that'd be a real big hassle. And where's the switch? Where's the, where's the light switch? Where's, where's the light switch? I don't want to be defted. I don't want to, I don't want to defted. Where's, where's the freaking light switch? <laughs> give me light! Give me liberty or give me light. Oh, there it is. Okay, there we go. Those things are gone. Oh, no, no one's attacking Sonic today. Oh, no one. And I guess I'll press this again, just, just for the extra precautionary things. And gosh, that thing is always like rising at the wrong times. And oh, I, I suck at this game. Stop responding, Rock. Rock, real rocks don't respond when you freaking break them. You know. Or entire mountains would be there after they're destroyed. That would not be a good thing for civilization. I, I don't even know what it, where did that come from. Freaking retard he doesn't even know what he's talking about. Oh, there's a light switch down there, but I'm casually gonna skip it because I think we're actually pretty much at the end of the zone. Well, get the well. I'm getting it this time. I'm not gonna pass that one up at least. What the? F oh, give me the switch. There we go. So, oh, there's a there's a checkpoint. Okay, I should actually get that. And the boss is actually right down here. And this is the boss. So this boss isn't actually that bad. All you have to do is hit that little green gem, the same green gem that's actually shooting lasers at us right now. And you can hit Eggman a bunch of times actually when you. Get all that rock stuff off of him, I guess I should say. I didn't know what to say during that. And what? You didn't let me hit you. You dirty faggot. You can't jump on the, um, the second hand, I guess. I, but that doesn't act as a platform, but the first one does. Just make sure you don't hit the spikes on his torso or anything, and you'll be fine. It's not really a difficult boss fight at all. And we're done with Sandopolis Zone. I was actually pretty worried about this, but it went better than I expected, actually. So that's a thing. And so, we leave Sandopolis. And we go to Lava Reef Zone, which is actually one of the better zones in the game. And holy crap, I, I, I can't I, I can't stop the video. Okay, now I can stop the video. Okay, I'll see you guys next time.